time for our next game this is another rapid fire round i know you don't stick to the time limit but this is going to be a minute or less again i'll try this is <laughs> don't worry if you go overboard you'll only miss out on the trophy so this is a game of absurd questions i'm just going to ask you questions about some absurd things you've eaten or seen or done in your life i would love to hear your take are you ready yes let's go so first one you're notorious for bringing an infrared thermometer into pizza shops and measuring the temperature of the pizza slice in the wise words of scott weiner if it's about 170 it's going to burn your mouth what's the hottest pizza slice you've ever had 225 at patsy's in east harlem did it end up burning you well i waited you wait there we go but are they notoriously the like the hottest slice that ever not comes not notoriously out? but low moisture mozzarella will hold on a heat longer than fresh mozzarella a longer bake usually holds on a more heat but that's when that pie comes right out of the oven it's crazy 225 That's crazy. Next one. You've often found absurd toppings like banana, chocolate, pineapple, absurd but good. What is one absurd but terrible topping on a pizza? Absurd and terrible. I've never found a topping that was 100% of the time terrible on pizza. And it's because I think people incorrectly assume that a pizza has to be built with tomato sauce, then cheese, and then topping. But if you start with the absurd topping, you can design a pizza around it and it will de-absurdify it. So everything's legal. Everything's legal. Everything. Drop one on me. What's weird? Let's well I'll tie this in the next one because you often have this debate with Mark from Lucali on really dope about what really is a pizza. It's a ship of thesis argument, right? Is a ramen pizza a pizza? Is a pizza with a popcorn base and first we face is that a pizza? And you said nothing's up <laughs> nothing everything counts everything is legal let's start with another absurd question what is one popular mainstream pizza style out there that you think is not really pizza you've already thrown chicago deep dish under the bus no chicago deep sorry, dish the, is uh, pizza detroit so you've already thrown no this. detroit is really pizza i'm just saying that it's <laughs> it doesn't exist on its own it 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 stands on the shoulders of those who came before the giants it. of focaccia that's what i'm, I'm saying yeah So and what it, is the most absurd pizza style that's not really a pizza? I, they're all pizza. I I people confuse with just because it's pizza doesn't mean it tastes good. <laughs> you know what I mean? Sure. Like I like I've had St. Louis style pizza is thin. I think it's yeastless dough with provel cheese on top. Provel, I shouldn't even call it a cheese. I don't like that. But it's pizza. So, uh, it's funny sometimes people I'll tell I'll say to somebody Well like um, there was a really dope episode and I don't know if I said this on it but a pizza bagel isn't a pizza. Is it a bagel? It's a bagel. It's a bagel. Okay. Yeah, just cuz it's dressed like a pizza doesn't make it a pizza. It's a bagel. But some people will hear me say that and then they'll say, "But they're so good." And I'll have to Yeah, but good and pizza don't Just because it's pizza doesn't mean it's good. Where are you drawing the Ice line? Ice cream's good. Like where are you drawing the line? Like is that popcorn base? Is that the a pizza? The line is always changing. Yeah. Well, but that was that was when Nicole Russell made that on First We Feast and it was delicious. I wasn't there to say whether or not it was pizza. <laughs> I was there to say whether it was good and it was so good. And I was shocked cuz I thought oh, it was going to be a nightmare, but it was great cuz she's the best. But I think that the line is always changing. I think that the definition of pizza is expanding constantly just like the universe and every time we think we have a definition there's a thing that's just beyond 10 years later that's normal and then there's another thing pickles on pizza now everybody's doing it of course it's pizza why wouldn't it be by adding something on top of a pizza you don't take away its identity you only add to it so people love to argue I think it's a waste of time. It's a waste of time. Next question. Most absurd pizza saver pizza table design that you've seen. I've seen the one that just looks like a flux capacitor. It's really? <laughs> yeah, you know, it's like boop, boop, boop. it just didn't seem structurally sound. Was it actually saving the pizza? I don't know because I very rarely interact with them because I don't get pizza delivered ever and I almost never eat pizza out of a box. So that is kind of like a throwaway. Have you come across this is the next question. Have you come across people who actually used to collect it and have you seen a use for those pizza tables because I had a fledgling collection when I was young. 
Did you really? And my mom threw it. Thanks, mom. Oh, um, yeah. How sad. I, I this is come, tables, the cute tables, yeah, right? Yeah, I've come across people who collected them like kids on tours, and I've given them. If you turn it upside down and clip off one of the legs, you can use it as a smartphone stand. Damn. That's the only use I've seen that I think is worth anything. About it, I've seen somebody on probably TikTok use it to separate two slices, but then it rips yeah. the slices apart. So that. it's that's that's where people are starved for content to make and they come up with something like that that's useless and now i have to watch 25 copycats it's very fresh i love that phone stand idea see people getting so much fact and so many useful hacks for life out of this interview you thought this is just gonna be a hangout interview but no yeah, look at that all look deeper, look deeper. <laughs> we'll always look deeper in your book we will our pizza you describe many different pizza box shapes what is the most absurd pizza box shape you've come across the octagon the octagon. Why? There's no reason. <laughs> Every time you have an angle, it means you have to have some part of the box full. So when you have a square box, there's one fold over. An octagon has eight fold overs, and that's a waste of time. So the octagon box, bizarre. You mostly find it in Brazil. Brazil. Interesting choice. I'm speaking to the person who holds the title for the Guinness World Record for the most unique piece of box collection. What is the most absurd art that you've seen on the pizza box? I've seen this, I think it was from Finland, this demonic, it felt like, like, like the pizzeria was owned by a cult and it had these markings on it, like a pentagram, but like something beyond a pentagram, I don't even know about. Damn. Yeah. And then it had this, it was printed with black ink. I, it's an incredible box. I'll show you a picture of it later. And there's this like cat and like, like on this woman's back, just very weird, but no name of a pizzeria. It was just like this weird piece of dark art on the pizza box. Incredible. That's why I collect pizza boxes. You know, if it was me, I would push it even further. It's like the Lil Nas had this collaboration with Nike where they got like this yeah. uh, satanic shoes and they had put like the pentagram on it and they had real blood in the soul. I would push it even further. Why Whose not? Whose blood was in it? I didn't ask those questions. But yeah, that's a good one. I think we should get on it. Final question, and this is interestingly tied to what you just mentioned. And I'm happy to negate all those minus points that you got if this, if this answer matches it. What is one ghost story concerning pizzas you've come across? If not, then what is the most absurd story concerning pizzas that you've come across? They say that the John's Pizzeria in Times Square... Don't spoil it for me, please. The old <laughs> gospel tabernacle church, which was once an orphanage... They say that it's still haunted by former tenants. Is it actually? That's what they say. I mean, I don't know if it's actually. That's a question for a higher level. Have there been sightings? Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, this, I'm not making this up. Damn. Yeah. Because I've always, I love ghost stories and ghost tours. I've always wanted to do a Halloween ghost pizza tour. Right. But there's just not enough pizzerias that have stories. But that's, it's a serious one. The original location of Lombardi's was formerly a police station. And they say that there was a, like the, 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 the jails were underneath the building. And that's just creepy to me, you know, to put people downstairs, no light, no anything. And it's just creepy. No ghost story, but creepy. I'll keep an eye out in case you find something at the old location for Lombardi's. At the old location. <laughs> And when you stand outside, there's a little grate in the sidewalk. And when you look down, one of the former managers told me like, oh, yeah, that was the old jail. And I was like, I don't think so. Yeah. It's not. And but then, that's what he said. And then you looked down. And there was a face. Oh, there we go. Stop. Yeah. Not even surprised. And it was midnight. Gets even worse. I need to see this Halloween ghost tour. But that brings an end to the second game. I say aced it. And in a minute or less as well. Perfect performance. You're going to get a trophy and I think you can add these accolades to your growing resume of accomplishment. Oh. This is the biggest one yet.